Hello, everyone. Um, it is Nicole from Shape It Up Fitness, and we are live today again. Um, I had an awesome day yesterday. We hung out at Main Street Salon in Mantua, New Jersey, and the client of the year got her hair done, and then we came back to my studio, and we did a photo shoot with the fabulous Jamie Austin, and um, it was a lot of fun yesterday. And if you missed those videos, you can just scroll back into the post or um, and check them out. But it was a lot of fun. So if you are unfamiliar with the client of the year is, every year I pick a client who um, has made either physical or mental changes. And I basically give them a prize, an award um, of about $1,000 worth of prizes. Um, they get to go to Whole Foods and they get to pick out new clothes and they get a makeover, um, hair makeover, and they get a photo shoot as well. So I want to give a shout out to Joe at Main Street Salon. Thank you so much for letting us come hang out and invade your space yesterday. <laughs> and um, also a big thank you to Jamie Austin. Um, I will, she was the fabulous photographer. If you see any of the pictures on my website, um, they are all taken by her. She is fantastic. Um, I will leave their website links in the comment section below, so you can definitely check them out, especially if you are local to South Jersey. If you want to become the client of the year at Shape It Up, you do not have to live in South Jersey. You can live anywhere in the United States. I do online training for women over 40, and you can, as long as you have an internet connection, and we can talk on the phone, and you can download my app, we are good to go. You can get more information at shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L, and I'll be happy to tell you more about it. All right, so getting into today's topic, this really is the bottom line to losing weight, losing inches. Um, especially when you're over 40 because, one, there's not a lot of information out there for us ladies over 40. And what information you are getting is like, here, take a pill or here, eat two shakes and a healthy meal every day um, or some of the crazy diets or no, there are no other options. It's just surgery. And please, if you are contemplating surgery, please come talk to me first because surgery should be your absolute, absolute last, last resort, and even then, I still think twice. Um, so this spurred uh, these thoughts um, because my son went and hung out with a friend, and this other person, this um, other, I mean, he's young, he's a teenager, so they were talking about food, ironically, and they were talking about how um, this kid was saying that Carbs basically make you fat or overweight. And my son kind of asked me, and I was like, no, that is not true. And I know that especially in the paleo and keto and all the other Atkins-type diets that are out, you know, they don't really subscribe to carbs. And with that said, there are variations in there because you're still getting carbs if you're eating vegetables. Vegetables are carbs. Um, but carbs do not make you overweight. Here's the bottom line. If you eat too much and you don't burn the same amount of calories, you are going to gain weight. That's it. Now, with that said, there are many variations on how to do that. Um, when you overeat, you are going to gain weight. You need sugar to make your brain function. <laughs> the problem with sugar, because this was another thing the young boy brought up, the problem with sugar is, is that is it, it is in everything. I don't know if you know this, but there's sugar in your toothpaste. There's sugar in spaghetti sauce. You know, there's so much sugar that if we ate more of a whole food-based diet, you wouldn't be getting as much sugar because it's a lot of the processed food and the, and the potato chips and, you know, the donuts and the pastries. And it's not to say that you can't have them, but it's just because sugar is in really everything. And if it's not in there, they've replaced it by some sort of sweetener, whether it's Splenda, um, 
stevia, you know, any of those things. And, you know, they're still being tested. I, the verdict is not out as to whether they are safe or not. Um, so carbs are not the enemy. Sugar is not necessarily the enemy, depending on what you're eating. It's really about which foods you're choosing. But it also comes down to if you want to just lose scale weight, meaning you step on the scale and you weigh lighter, you just need to cut your calories or increase your daily activity. The problem with that comes is what you want to look like, what you want to feel like, because if you continually cut your calories and increase your activity and you don't do it in a certain way, yes, you will get smaller and smaller and smaller, but at some point your metabolism kind of goes, wait a minute, we are getting a little too lean, we need to hold on to everything. That happens at different points in different people's journey, so everybody is individualized, so again, going out and looking at generic fitness programs and generic diets, they're not going to work for you long term because that's for the general public. We are all individual. We don't look alike. Even twins are very different from each other. Um, so you need to kind of find out what works for you. I do this with my clients. I don't give them a food log. Um, I give them a framework of what we can, you know, like an ideal scenario, but they don't have to follow it. I've had many clients who kind of, you know, they take the idea of what I'm giving them, but it's not like they're eating rabbit food and yogurts and, you know, a shake. Um, they're eating real food and still losing weight, still losing inches. So depending on what kind of look you're going for, will determine what your calorie intake is going to be, give or take, and what you're going to do. So if you're, again, looking to just shrink down from the version that you're in, calories in versus calories out. If you are looking to get more muscular and toned or um, cut, whatever phrase you want to use, then you need to figure out there needs to be certain types of foods in your meals. You need to have a certain amount of, um, they're called macronutrients, so that's your proteins, your carbs, and your fats. And again, everybody is individualized. This is why somebody can go on a paleo diet and have great results, and then the same other person or another person maybe doing the same workout goes on it but has totally different body structure, goes on paleo, and it's a complete mess, you know, and, and it doesn't work for them. Um, there's also the mental aspect of eating and how attached you are to food. The less emotionally attached you are to food, the better and successful you will be because food is for fuel. And if you are eating other than when you are hungry, you are eating for emotional reasons. So really it all comes down to, I'm looking at my notes, that's why I'm staring down. <laughs> it really all just comes down to what is the look that you want to have if it's based on physical, um, you know, the way you visually want to look. But it's also how you want to feel because you could easily just eat ho-hos and Twinkies and lose weight, but you're going to feel crappy. You're not going to feel good. You're not going to feel healthy. Um, so it depends on what you're looking for out of your body. So again, the bottom line is if you're looking to just shrink down calories in versus calories out. If you are looking to get more muscular, more toned, have energy, have strength, keep your metabolism churning and burning as we get older, because it doesn't slow down, it doesn't, <laughs> like it doesn't pick up as we get older, um, you need to have a concern for your macronutrients, um, you need to be eating more whole foods, and you need to be doing some sort of resistance training. So when my clients come to me, I take them all on an individual basis and I build a framework around them that fits into their lifestyle. And everybody's different. So for, I can't give, I can give you general suggestions on these videos, but when you really want to make a change and you're really serious about making a change, I have to get to know you and figure out what it is that we need to tweak because it may be your fitness, it may be your food, it may be your mindset, 
it may be all three. <laughs> so, which is totally normal. <laughs> so hang in there. So that is my spiel for today. My little tidbit is, you know, you can do it if you're over 40. You don't have to feel like you're getting sent out to pasture. Um, you can eat what you want and still lose weight. It's just a matter of what you want to really look like when you're all said and done and what those steps need to be in order to get to where you want to be. All right, so that is all for me today. Um, if you would like to have a chat with me, you can reach me at shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L -L at the end of that. You can request a free phone consult with me. I'd be happy to chat with you. And um, definitely, if you're interested in becoming the next client of the year, definitely get on that phone call because, again, like I said, you do not have to be in South Jersey to train with me. You can be anywhere in the United States. The client of the year for this year will be announced. Um, I'm aiming for next week. We'll see. Um, so stay tuned and keep an eye out for that video. All right. Have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I'll be happy to answer them. Until I see you again, remember to get fit, be fierce, and have no limits. I'll see you tomorrow.